Hello and thanks for joining us for this edition of Hope and Heaven's Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor Ihe Adiboye, the General Vazir of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Fuike Christina Tolani and I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic is the secrets of the Lord. And the Bible passage we're looking at today is Genesis chapter 18 from 17 to 19. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing, since Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him? For I have known him in order that he may command his children and his household after him, that they keep the way of the Lord to do righteousness and justice, that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. Our memory verse is from the book of Psalms, Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Our reflections. All true God-fearing Christians are peculiar. They differ from all others by what God does in them and by what he does for them. A Christian who fears God has a, has a new heart and God puts his spirit within him or her and he makes known to them his mind. Into their souls he infuses life and into their ears he speaks his secrets. So in a way, one can say that fearers of God are those favorites of God and both has his fearers and his favorites, they are peculiar people. How amazing. Well, I hope when Heaven's Daily Guide describes this set of people as truly blessed. In fact, it says that their lives become the headquarter of blessings through which millions of lives are positively impacted. It further says that those who make up their minds to fear God, no matter the circumstances, they can never be forsaken, even when it seems all hope is lost. God will always show up for them to even reassure them of his faithfulness. So dear listeners, the fear of the Lord gives God's children access to divine direction and divine security. So what does it mean to fear God? Deuteronomy chapter 10 from uh, verse 12, it says, now Israel, and you can say now for you, or now Tina, or you can even say now Peter or John. This is what the Lord your God wants you to do. Respect, fear the Lord your God, and do what he has told you to do. Love him, serve the Lord your God with all your whole being. And the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 also says, Therefore, Having these promises, that is, these wonderful promises of blessings, hidden secrets, and other privileges, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Let us flee from all appearances of evil, just like Joseph in the Bible did when he was enticed by his master's wife. So let us choose to do what is right and not what is evil or wrong, knowing that God is watching us and out of respect, we should obey him and him alone. May you choose to always do the right things from now in the mighty name of Jesus. Our key point, everything you give up for God is a giveaway for the ultimate. I'm going to say that again. Everything you give up for God is a giveaway for the ultimate. And my prayer is that you'll be able to surrender all to God, obey His word, love Him with all your heart, and you begin to receive secret hidden things and lots of blessings. Thanks for joining us. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day.